think about this. An ecological system is a system of land and earth and air and water that survives off of itself to include living animals, sea animals, insects, birds, and things that crawl on the earth, and plants, and trees, etc. What is powerful enough to take rock, earth, and sand, and to take that and crush that ecological system in an instant? Fire cannot do it, wind cannot do it, man cannot do it. On a worldwide scale, water can do this. Now what, if you think hard enough, happened in the past that did this on a worldwide scale very quickly, in which only on a boat, a family, and all, the, and all animals that God sent to this family survived on. The flood sent by God, the boat that Noah was told to build by God, and the animals that God said he would send to Noah, and then God shut the doors of that boat. So this, when this happens to an ecological system, sedimentary rock was laid down by the flood. Sedimentary rock literally means rock laid down by water. And when an ecological system is utterly destroyed and crushed in an instant or very quickly, it produces oil. Now, what do we use today to produce energy for our world in modern times? We have literally plugged our world into the pre-Diluvian world, the death of the world before the flood, the oil, the ecological, the crushed ecological system. We have plugged ourselves into that to provide ourselves with energy. We have opened up the gateway and the portal back to that world to provide our world with energy. We're literally living off of the dead of our pre-Diluvian ancestors. Think about that for a second. It's pretty wild stuff, huh? In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, spread the Gospels to whom you know. It is written, they have Moses and the prophets. If they believe not them, neither will they believe one that rises from the dead. Amen and hallelujah. Jesus Christ be with you.